Hello friends, this video on basic concept of chemistry part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 90. How are 0.5 mole of Na2C3 and 0.05 mole of Na2CO3 different? Both are different actually. You see, this is mole and this is molarity. This is molarity. So when I say 0.5 mole, so if you see Na2CO3, if you find the mass, molar mass, this comes out to be Na, sodium is 23, 23, class carbon is 12, 1 oxygen is 3, 3 into 60. So this comes out to be 106 gram per mole, right? So 1 mole of Na2CO3 implies 106 gram of Na2CO3, correct? So I am talking about half mole, so 1 by 2 mole of Na2CO3 will imply this by 2, right, this by 2, that is 106 by 2, that is 53 gram of Na2CO3. So I am talking about uh, 0.5 mole of Na2CO3, I am talking about 0.53 gram of Na2CO3. But when I am talking about 0.5 molarity of Na2CO3, that means nothing but, that is nothing but, 0.5 mole of Na2CO3 in 1 liter of water or solution, any solution. Both are different. So in this case, I am talking about 53 grams of Na2CO3, that is in this case, I am talking about 53 grams of Na2CO3 in 1 liter of solution, correct? So in one case, I am talking about 53 grams of Na2CO3. In another case, I am talking about 53 grams of Na2CO3 in one liter of solution because it is molarity, it is. If 10 volumes of hydrogen reacts with 5 volumes of oxygen, how many volumes of water is formed? So the formula is H2 plus O2 is equal to H2O balances, hydrogen is okay, oxygen is 1, make it 2 here. So this becomes two. This is my oxygen. So with this, I can say that 2 volume of hydrogen plus 1 volume of oxygen gives 2 volume of water, correct? Now question says 10 volumes of dihydrogen. So you multiply this guy with 5, everything is 5. So this becomes 10 volume of hydrogen reacts with 5 volume of oxygen it gives 5 into 2 10 volume of water. So we see there is no limiting reagent here. We had 10 volumes of hydrogen, we had 5 volumes of oxygen, all are consumed and we get 10 volumes of water. In this case, if this had been let's suppose 4 volume of di hydrogen oxide, di dioxygen, in that case oxygen would have become a limiting reagent and then we would have got 8 volumes of oxygen only. So those things you have to keep in mind. In this case, there was no limiting reagent, everything got consumed. So the uh, question was simple, but and sometimes you get oxygen is limiting reagent, hydrogen is limiting reagent. So in that case, you have to check and then give the answer based on the limiting reagent quantity, which will have the largest number of atoms. So one gram of AU will have how much? One C will have uh, 1 by 197 into 6.023 into 23 atoms. Why? Because see 197 grams of gold will have this many atoms, right? Because of the molar mass of this. So 1 by 1, so 1 gram of gold will have 1 by 197 into these many atoms. 1 gram of sodium will have 1 by sodium atomic mass is 23 into 6.023 into 20 by 3 atoms. 1 gram of lithium will have 1 by 7 molecular mass of lithium into 6.023 into 20 by 23 atoms. 1 gram of Cl2 will have 1 by 71 because of Cl2 into 6.023 into 20 by 3 atoms. These part is same. We define which one has a maximum, this part. So I, we feel that this guy is the maximum because this is the lowest denominator that is the highest number. So this is my answer. 1 gram of lithium. Correct? Because 
one gram of lithium will be one by seven into six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three atoms. So we compare all these numbers. We want this guy as the maximum. Let's take one more question. We have to find the molarity of the solution of ethanol in water, in which the mole fraction of ethanol is point four zero zero four zero. So first, you know that mole fraction of C two H five O H is nothing but mole of C two H five O H divided by mole of solution. Right? It is mole. Of solution. That is nothing but mole of C two H five O H by mole of C two H five O H plus mole of water. Correct, and that is given point zero four. Correct. We have to find the molarity of the solution. So now let's take hundred gram of water. Let's take one liter of water because you define molarity, and let one liter of water is nothing but one thousand gram of water, right? We know that water molar mass H two O will be two into one plus sixty, that is eighteen grams per mole. So mole of one thousand gram will be how much? So eighteen grams water. Is equal to one mole of water. So, one thousand grams of water is nothing but one thousand by eighty mole of water, and that is nothing but fifty-five point five five mole. So this guy we know. We have to find now mole of uh, it. Now let that be x. So x by x plus fifty-five point five five is equal to point zero four. Correct. You solve this, you get x is equal to twenty three point one four mole. That is mole of ethanol. Is this? So finding molarity is very simple. So molarity m of solution is nothing but mole of ethanol by volume. That is one liter. This is nothing but twenty three two point one three two point three one four by One liter, and that is max. This is two point three one. Easy only, not a difficult question. Easy to find. You have as assume that you have taken one the one thousand gram water, right? And then we got this mole of water in the one thousand gram of water. We put this in this. We got the mole of ethanol. That is something we should find for to find the molarity of ethanol. We have this. Then it is easy to find molarity because one hundred gram of water is equal to one liter of hydrogen. That is what we have assumed, right? That uh, the density of water is one. What will the mass of one C twelve carbon? So if you see. We have to find mass of one C twelve carbon atom. We know that one mole of C twelve carbon atom is nothing but twelve grams, and one mole is nothing but if you see six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three atoms of C twelve is equal to twelve grams, or one atom will be nothing but twelve by six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. Solve this. This becomes one point nine nine three into ten to the power minus twenty three grams. Very easy. See, one mole of C two is equal to twelve grams. One mole is nothing but these many more uh, atoms. These many atoms will be twelve grams. So one atom will be twelve by these many atoms. And that is max. Calculate the number of atoms in each of the following: fifty two grams of argon, fifty fifty two units of helium, and fifty two grams of helium. Please note it's a U. It is a G here. It is a mole here. Right? Number of atoms. So if you see, one mole of Ar. Any any mole of uh, one mole of any element is nothing but six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three atoms. So we have fifty two moles. So we multiply fifty two. 
So 52 moles of air will have 52 into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms and this will be 3.131 into 10 to the power 24 it becomes atoms. Easy. The second question is this is done. 52 unit of helium. So if you see one atomic mass of unit of helium, this has four unit of helium. So one one atom of helium has four unit of helium. See, let's take this way. See, atomic mass unit of helium is 4. That is 4 AMU or U of helium is equal to 1 atom. I hope you understand this. Because atomic mass unit of 1 atom of helium is 4 AMU. So, 52 AMU of helium is equal to 52 by 4 atom. That is 13 atoms. So, for 52 atomic mass unit, you need 13 atoms because 4 atomic mass unit of helium comprise of 1 atom. If you take 1 atom of helium, that is nothing but 4 atomic mass unit. The atomic mass of unit of 1 atom is 4 atomic mass unit. That's why this relation gives. Third is 52 gram of helium. So, we know that 4 gram of helium is equal to 1 mole of helium, correct? And that is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms talking about grams now so 4 grams becomes 1 mole that is this many atoms I am talking about 52 grams so 52 grams of helium will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 4 into 52 atoms so if you solve this this becomes 7.8286 into 10 to the power 24 atoms and that is my answer Correct. So, 4 grams of uh, 52 grams of helium will have these many. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.